Hi everyone, it's Michelle. I'm going to attempt to do a get ready with me this morning. I don't usually do get ready with me videos because I don't do makeup videos. I have in the past and my attempts haven't been so great because of the lighting and it's probably going to be the same problem yet again. But I'm going to give this a try. I don't usually wear that much makeup when I go out to do bits and bobs. I might put a little bit extra on today just for you guys. What I've already done is put some moisturiser on. I don't use primer anymore. I used to. For years I used primer, but it just didn't work for me. It always got a little bit um, speckly. When I put um, my foundation or my BB creams over it, it always had this speckly, mottly sort of look to it. So I gave up and I tried lots of them. So I've gone back to just using moisturiser. I got that from Wayne Goss. Any of you have watched Wayne Goss will... <laughs> He's royalty on YouTube, in my opinion. I use Clarins Moisturizer. It's for dry skin. It's a Clarins one. I keep going back to Clarins Moisturizers. I try lots and lots of other moisturizers. I love Clarins. I don't know why. It suits my skin. It's as simple as that. It's not economical. It's not budget. I think this one I pay about over $100 for this one. Um, and they go up to about $160. I usually try and find one around $120, something like that. Before the Clarence Moisturizer, I used this Palmer's Oil. It's Cocoa Butter Formula Skin Therapy Oil. I just buy this at the supermarket. Absolutely love this. This actually goes on first, a little bit of this, and then on top of it, a little bit of moisturizer. There's nothing glam going on here today. My hair is, well, it's due to be washed. It's not looking so good at the moment there's no product in it no styling i'll put a little bit of eyeshadow on i only ever use neutral shades i'm not really big on bright colors or strong colors on my eyes i just go for a minimal look and i'm using a brush a sigma brush because i bought them from mary <laughs> well i didn't actually buy them from mary i bought them from sigma and this was glitzy fritzy's brush collection when she was having her brush collection I'm sure she's still selling it so I bought the brush collection from Mary and I've never actually shown anyone that I use these brushes they're fantastic and thank you to Mary on my eyelids I'll be putting this really very tame color here this one this one here I've almost used it up it's like a very light apricot I'm going to use the mirror here, just to the side of me, where I can see so much better. That's a bit of a warm shade up there. It's a little bit stronger than I would usually put because I wasn't sure if it would show up at all because I do wear very light colours on my eyelids. The next shade I'll choose is something down here, a little bit further down in the browns. I dab a little bit on and I dab a little bit off. I've just put it on a tissue because I really don't like strong eyeshadow on my lids. Not for just day wear anyway. I put nothing in the crease. I stay right away from my crease because I've got quite deep set eyes. Now that's stronger than I would normally wear. And so what I do if it looks too strong, I just wipe some off. And the next I put on the brow bone just under my eyebrows and I usually use white but I'll often blend it with a lighter color as well so it's not stark white I like to highlight just under my brows it just gives my eyes a bit of a lift the area that I put most of my attention into is in here inside the corners of my eyes because I get really dark in there it's genetic one even though I'm fair people often think that the dark circles I don't get them under here they're in the corner I think dark having deep set eyes and allergies allergies cause this so I use a range of products I buy a lot of different concealers for in here because I need them I need help in there. When I feel like I need extra help, I bring out my NYX. It's called Yellow, Yellow One, I think that's one. It's just yellow. And why yellow? Because it conceals that purpley, bluish, brownish color that I get in there. This I put on with the fingers. I find it just easier to apply with my fingers. I try really hard not to be heavy-handed with this because 
if you go too far, you can look like you've got two white patches on either side of your eyes. But there's going to be other concealer on top of that. This is Nude by Nature, Australian label, Nude by Nature, and it's the shade of Shell Beige. They have a lot of shades in their stick. They just wind up like that. I find the stick ones just so easy to use. So this is Shell Beige. Once again, this is Fingers. And then before I put on my foundation or my BB cream, I do use my Faithful Age Rewind and I go around and cover up my spots. And I have one there. So I just dab the spots, a couple up there, and some out here on the side side of the nose always needs help that's um, where I get my main redness is side of the nose and chin I really use a lot of this almost like a foundation next is some um, foundation and you might have noticed I put my eye makeup on first and I learned to do that a long time ago I was watching someone do a tutorial and it stops the fallout from going on to your foundation. Because I'm a little bit impatient, I'm a little bit heavy handed, I thought that's a really good tip. Put your eyeshadow on first. My old faithful Rimmel foundation, I still using my Rimmels. I keep buying them on sale. They're pretty cheap when they're on sale. Soft beige 200, SPF of 20, lasting finish 25 hours for the pumps and I have pumps. But what I do is dab, 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 all the obvious areas sponge sponge sometimes I just dab but I know that I'm really supposed to roll <laughs> I know that but I get in a hurry and I just don't have time for getting it great hey some coverage is better than none right <laughs> well if you want it I'm not going to say that this is the best colour for me, this particular soft beige 200. And I do tend to rub down my neck what's left on the sponge from the foundation. Eyebrows come next. I have fairly sparse eyebrows, so I need a bit of help. I'm using the Maybelline Ultra Slim. The Ultra Slim is the answer for me. I've tried many eyebrow applications. I love this Ultra Slim. It's blonde. It's Maybelline, ultra slim, love it. And I don't do anything fancy with my brows. I just feather. Well, they really need plucking. And I try and try and give myself a little peek up there. It, it is there, but I have to help it a bit these days. An arch, I have to help that arch a bit. I'm very careful not to bring it out too far to the sides. I don't like my eyebrows too heavy. Um, I'm fair and they don't look right. They look, well, they look fake. So I just use little feathering strokes. It has the brush on the other end, of course, and I just do a quick brush. Blush, I wouldn't feel made up without my blush. It's my second, well, it actually is my favorite makeup cosmetic is blush this is a cream one by elizabeth arden it's called nectar number one nectar it's just a beautiful application it comes on a bit more pink and in winter i need more color than summer in summer i find that just walking around you can get some color in your cheeks so i use a lighter shade in summer than i do in winter so i start here around the ball i tap I just dab up toward the ear. So it's just a dab, 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 and a bit of a rub as well. So it's not just one streak. I try to keep my blush not down here, not down in the hollow of the cheeks, and not too close in. I have a small face, so I have to be a little bit careful how far these products go because. It's easier for me for them to spread. Or cream, that's hand application. That's dabbing, rolling. <laughs> it's all my own technique. Completely unprofessional, no doubt. 
but whatever works, right? Or whatever you like, whether it works or not. If you like it, that's all that matters. Black coal pencil, yeah, I know that's so 1970s, but it tends to make my eyes pop. I do wear white a lot as well though, or neutral colors. I do wear white or sometimes just nude colors. I get too heavy with it, just a couple of strokes of that. And already you can see my eyes are popping just a little bit. A little bit of lip liner. Uh, this is, um, I think this is a Rimmel lip liner and it's called, yeah it is, it's called 120 Pink Candy. Love this color. It just seems to be the perfect in-between shade. Not too bright, not too dark. And it's blunt. I should have um, sharpened it first because I like the old fashioned sharpening type of lip liners. I don't go right up into the corners. I've heard a lot of other ladies say that. I don't do that either. And I do keep my cupid's bow. I know some women go straight across. They say that keeps their lips looking more full or makes them look more full. I like a cupid's bow. I just, well, I've got one. I was born with one, so I, I like it. Sometimes when I'm really in a hurry, I just fill right in with the lip liner and make that the lipstick and put gloss over the top. The one area that I focus on is this bottom lip because um, my lips aren't as full as they used to be. So I just focus on a bit of a heavier line right there on that bottom lip. Okay, this is pink velvet and um, it's Revlon. It's um, beautiful lipstick. Revlon does the most beautiful lipsticks. I really like their lipsticks a lot. So pink velvet, nice little, nice soft, Rosy pink. So I'm coming alive now, aren't I? Isn't it amazing what a bit of colour does? Now, I do do the kiss. <laughs> I always have. I don't know what. I just do. This is just a Nivea lip gloss over the top. I love lip glosses, but they're usually too sticky for me almost forgot before I put my mascara on my secret weapon my secret weapon is to use white white or a neutral tone I blend them I'm a real blender of uh, everything everything foundations everything foundations um, eyeshadows I blend colors together probably comes from when I used to dye clothing mix color if you don't like the color mix something else in with it so where does this go? In the corners, right there in the corners. And down a little bit here on the peak, right here on the peak of the eye. I take this up quite high, right up in here. I really do have problems in this area. This is my problem area. And right here on the corner, a little peak just on the corner. I call that my secret weapon because I think it brightens my eyes a little bit and once again, it helps conceal that darkness that I have so much trouble with. Still using my Maybelline mascara, black, waterproof, always waterproof for me. I'm not a wiggler. I don't go to the base and wiggle because every time I do that, for some reason, I get it in my eyes. So I'm a, I don't know what you call this. I'm just a, um, I don't know what you call this application. I'm just stroking it on. I don't really talk about applications because that was one in my way. So I'm going out with minimal makeup. I don't go back and do more. I just do a pretty decent go while I'm at it. And as I said, I don't do the wiggle. But I have tried it, but I always get it stuck in my eyes. And then I ruin all my makeup and I have it all inside my eyes and they're stinging. I don't use a lash curler for every day. I just can't be bothered with it. And I have trouble with them as well. Anything that comes near my eye, I have a bit of trouble with because, um, I don't know, I'm really sensitive about something coming close to my eye and getting in my eye. I had some bad experiences with contact lenses. I had some really bad experiences with contact lenses and got them stuck in my eye. One time I had to go to the hospital. It was right up here and extremely painful. I don't wear them anymore. I had so much trouble getting them in and out. 
getting them in was hard. That was the hardest part, but occasionally I couldn't get them out and they would go right up the top. It's so painful. I would envy those people I could see just pop them in. I never tight line up here either. Can't do it. Just can't handle the thought of it. And once again, it drops down and it ends up down here somewhere on the, the bottom lid. One thing I do do with my mascara is I try and draw a little bit out to the side. So like this. The lashes out to the side. So out first and then pushing it up and hoping it doesn't get clumpy, which it can do. I really like to have a little bit out that way. So there you have it. That's it for today. That's about what I do. In fact, it might have been a little bit more than what I do. I don't put mascara on the bottom lash, by the way. I do that occasionally if I'm going out, but I mean, out, out, you know, special occasion out. Um, but no, usually not on the bottom lash and I have no eyeliner on the top lid um, and none underneath. N not if I'm in a hurry. I don't bother with any of the eyeliners if I'm in a hurry. Or minimal makeup. It doesn't even have to be a hurry. It's Well, for me, it's always a hurry because I just want to get out the door. I got... I've got it in my mind that I want to achieve something and it is to get out and buy that or drop that off or pick that up or go to wherever I have to go if it's an appointment and I can tick it off the list. Quite often makeup is the least of my concern. So what I'll do is get dressed and come back and show you what outfit I put on and it's going to be pretty damn simple today. I hope you don't think I'm a complete makeup failure. I do wear makeup and for me, I'm happy enough with what I do. Well, I thought I'd um, just stick with the white peasant blouse. Actually, it's a different one. The other one was so crushed and I thought, yeah, I feel like wearing a white peasant blouse today. So I thought I'd stick with that and put on a beige colored mono jacket. Nothing glamorous about this, all in a hurry. Got the white sneakers on, which will be practical and comfortable because I have to do some walking. Got my favorite straight leg jeans on and just a little tan bag. Oh, off I go. I actually did brush my hair. <laughs> it wasn't brushed before. I just, um, yeah, that's how I got out of bed with it like that. It probably looks like that too. But <laughs> Thank you gorgeous people for watching my video today and have a great day out there everybody. Bye-bye, see you again soon.